October 7th, 2023. A series of coordinated attacks by the militant group Hamas, claiming to represent the people of Palestine and the wider Muslim community, plunged the Middle East into crisis. Tensions finally boiled over and the State of Israel, renowned for its homeland security measures, a military response from Israel came quickly. But this was it. The time of relative yet tense peace between Israel and Palestine came to an abrupt end. The region is now on the edge of war, with militant Muslim groups in both Palestine and other surrounding countries across the Middle East threatening to start an all-out military conflict. All of this while Israeli bombardments continue to hammer down across Gaza. There are critics on all sides, with Hamas being branded as nothing more than terrorists by much of the West, and many people, even Jewish people living outside of Israel, are not happy with the way the state has responded, particularly at how many Palestinian civilians are being caught in the firing line. This isn't the worst violence we've seen, only the most recent and current chapter in a history of conflict between Palestinian Muslims and the Israeli state. To understand this matter, we have to go back to before Israel was a state at all. So, let's have a look at a brief history. A brief history. Before we begin, this is by no means a detailed account, and is simply a quick run through of the history of conflict in the region. May 14th, 1948, establishment of Israel as a state. You have to understand, until this date, Israel was not a country. It was simply an area of the world, part of Palestine. Israel, in particular Jerusalem, holds huge significance to many people. All three Abrahamic religions, Islam, Judaism and Christianity, which stem from the initial story of Abraham, see the birthplace and early history of their respective religions to be in this area of the world. Until the Second World War, these peoples lived in relative peace, sharing their heritage, and whilst friction and conflict between groups was inevitable, no group had sole right or stewardship. The Jewish people have suffered throughout history. The world stood in unity following the events of the Holocaust at the hands of the Nazis during World War II. Even before the war, Jewish leaders had been pushing for a state for Jewish people, a haven where they would be safe from persecution. After the war in 1948, the Allied powers, led by Britain, who had been governing Israeli territory since the 1920s, granted the Jewish people the lands of Israel to be that haven. This process included the removal of some territory from Palestinians who had been living undisturbed in the region for centuries, thus starting the decades of conflict that would follow in this region. End of British rule. In 1948, the end of the British mandate to rule over Palestine and the Israeli Declaration of Independence from the Jewish people sparked a war involving many Arab states. During the conflict, there were population movements and a problematic refugee crisis, with some Arabs advised to evacuate for military reasons. The war ended with an Israeli victory after around a year of violence, resulting in territorial changes. Jordan, Syria, Lebanon and Egypt signed agreements with Israel, establishing new borders. The Gaza Strip and West Bank were occupied by Egypt and Jordan respectively. In 1950, Jordan incorporated the West Bank. Six Day War Between 1950 and 1967, violence continued, including attacks on Israeli civilians by Jordanian forces and Palestinian militants. Israel also conducted a major retaliatory attacks. In 1967, Israel launched a preemptive strike known as the Six Day War, capturing the Gaza Strip and the West Bank, including East Jerusalem. Israel's sovereignty over all of Jerusalem stirred controversy. Arab leaders adopted the terms no recognition, no peace, no negotiations in response. Palestine Liberation Organization, PLO. In 1964, Palestine Liberation Organization, also known as PLO, emerged, advocating armed struggle for Palestinian liberation, seeking a state within pre-1948 borders. Their charter laid out the right of return and self-determination for Palestinians, back into the area Israel's state now occupied. The period from 1967 to 1991 was marked by significant shifts in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Six Day War of 1967 prompted Palestinians to turn their attention from pan-Arabism to the pursuit of self-determination. 
This led to the rise of groups like Fatah and the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine within the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO. Yasser Arafat's election as PLO chairman in 1969 escalated armed conflict with Israel. In the 1970s and 1980s, conflicts and acts of terrorism heightened tensions in the area. The first intifada in 1987 brought widespread protests and violence against Israeli forces. The PLO's declaration of the State of Palestine in 1988 gained international recognition. Gulf War The Gulf War in 1990-1991 strained relations due to the PLO support for Saddam Hussein. The 1991 Madrid Peace Conference aimed at peace negotiations but faced challenges, including objections to PLO involvement. Oslo Accords In the early 1990s, secret negotiations in Oslo, Norway between Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization led to a historic recognition of Israel by the PLO, marking a significant breakthrough. The resulting Oslo peace process established the Palestinian Authority to govern certain territories. However, this was not enough and violence persisted, including tragic events like the Cave of the Patriarchs Massacre. In 1995, a major milestone was reached with the Interim Agreement, but it was followed by political turmoil with Yitzhak Rabin's assassination. Benjamin Netanyahu's election in 1996 brought about a shift in Israeli policy, challenging key Oslo principles. Despite subsequent agreements and attempts at peace, the Camp David summit in 2000 ended without a resolution. After the summit failed to achieve a final agreement, the Second Intifada, a major Palestinian uprising, erupted in September 2000. Ariel Sharon's visit to a sensitive religious site further ignited tensions. Then Sharon became Prime Minister in 2001 and halted negotiations with the Palestinian Authority. Operation Defensive Field In 2002, the Arab League proposed a political plan for peace, though Israel rejected certain terms. Operation Defensive Shield in 2002 significantly reduced terror attacks in Israel. Israel also began building the West Bank barrier, leading to a sharp drop in attacks. Ariel Sharon's Likud party's victory in 2003 brought about a temporary truce and an endorsement of the roadmap for peace. This led to the formation of the Quartet on the Middle East. Mahmoud Abbas assumed the role of Prime Minister in 2003, but conflicts with Arafat over power sharing led to his resignation later that year. Withdrawal from the Gaza Strip in 2003, Sharon initiated a unilateral withdrawal from the Gaza Strip, a move met with opposition within Israel. The disengagement plan was implemented in 2005, resulting in ongoing attacks on Israeli communities near Gaza. Following Arafat's death in 2004, Mahmoud Abbas, a Fatah member, became president of the Palestinian National Authority. In the 2006 Palestinian legislative elections, Hamas won a majority, leading to funding cuts by the US and Europe due to Hamas not recognizing Israel's right to exist. Conflict erupted between Hamas and Fatah, resulting in Hamas taking control of Gaza in 2007. The Annapolis Conference then laid out a two-state solution as a framework for resolving the conflict. In 2009, the US pressured Israel to freeze settlement growth. In 2011, the Palestinian Authority sought recognition as a UN non-member state. In 2012, the UN granted Palestine non-member observer state status. A conflict known as Operation Pillar of Defense took place in 2012, leading to casualties on both sides. In 2011, a major prisoner exchange occurred, securing the release of Gilad Shalit. In 2014, another war between Israel and Gaza took place, resulting in casualties on both sides. And here we are in the early 2020s, with tensions again rising, leading to the tragic events and the deaths of innocents on both sides of the Israeli border and no immediate answer to de-escalate this growing conflict.